Well, again, three schools were taken off of the chopping block along with some other changes, but there are still questions from people prior to this December 19th vote. Now, Superintendent Dr. Eric Green presented the revised optimization plan to the school board Tuesday, and on that revised proposal of the 16 schools originally recommended to close, three schools, including Key, Green, and Clausell Elementary, were removed. Wells APAC, as well as Obama, would be moved in 2025. Now, there were also some other merge plans changed, but the biggest takeaway from the meeting is what will happen to staff and the empty buildings. That's where a lot of questions were unanswered, according to one parent. As a parent, my concern is, so what's going to happen after you close the schools? Are we just going to have empty buildings? Are we going to have more plight in our communities? Um, how are you going to build up and support the schools that exist? What are you going to do about staffing? What are you going to do about our administrators? So it's a lot of unknowns, and to be successful, you have to have a plan. Green says they will compose a facilities repurposing committee to make to help make those decisions as for what will happen to the buildings. Three options include demolition, selling or leasing and repurposing. As for staff, Dr. Green says this will prompt a reduction in force, likely for a small number of school leaders such as principals. Now, Green says that they are confident in keeping fully certified teachers as they already have plenty of vacancies. Live outside of JPS headquarters, Madeline Nolan, 16 WAPT News.